Ooh, I did some damage because you guys know it's that time of the year. Hello my friends, Jetrin is here. Now it is that time of the year again where Sephora has their friends and family 20% off sale. And of course, you guys know I love to save a little bit of money when I possibly can. And yeah, I bought some items that I want to show you guys. Now I do have 10 items here. I'm just gonna go quickly through them, maybe like a quick impression, small details here and there. With that being said, let's dive in into what I got. Well, the first item I have here comes at no surprise. I've talked about it, I've hyped it up, I recommend it to you guys and this is from glow recipe this here is the avocado melt retinol eye sleeping mask and i still can't get enough of it i did buy two one for me one for my mom she did want to try it out so i figured this is the best way to purchase while saving a little money so this retail for 42 dollar usd and it comes with 0.5 fluid ounce or 15 ml i still recommend this eye cream to you if you are looking for an anti-aging eye cream this one is definitely a must to try now quick update though i have been using the glow recipe avocado melt retinol sleeping mask as my under eye cream um, uh, because I feel like they're both pretty much the same except this is a little bit bigger so far I do think the eye cream works just a little bit better I feel like I see a little bit more results I don't want to be biased because it is an eye cream I don't know I feel like this is just meant for the face overall next up we have our the NARS radiant creamy concealer and I got the shade in custard and macadamia this is my holy grail concealer I've been using this since 2014 I still love it I do want to try new concealer but man I don't know I just feel like you know when you find something that just works you just stick with it but yeah I really love this definitely great for covering acne spots hyperpigmentation it's medium to full coverage it's easy to blend out I mean it's just it's a, such an amazing concealer for sure I will say though it has gone up in price I can't believe it's $30 I think before it used to be like what 28 I mean $2 difference I know but still it's going up everything is going up sad sadly I do use macadamia on top of foundation more and then for custard i mostly use it on my bare face going back to glow recipe we have a new item that was launched this year but i did not buy it because i did want to save money this here is the glow recipe watermelon glow hyaluronic acid clay facial mask and i'm so excited to try this because if you guys know or you may not know i do love the watermelon line from glow recipe i mean if you look at the watermelon line there's like eight products right it's it's a it's a lot of products now taking this out of the box here is the cute little jar it is so adorable i will say it's a little it's a little pricey this does retail for 40 dollars usd and you're getting only 2.03 fluid ounce so it's really not that much in terms of how much you're getting so this watermelon clay mask claims to have hyaluronic acid watermelon extract enzymes blueberry seed powder and bha pha to gently exfoliate your skin um, it is vegan and cruelty free so to recap it's definitely hydrating it smooth the skin it exfoliate your skin so yeah we shall see how this definitely works now you guys know i love to smell things so let's give this a quick sniff mmm kind of smells like a mineral clay has a hint of watermelon smells kind of fresh so yeah i can't wait to try this and give you my overall thoughts if it's worth it or not but going back to makeup this is a new product that i've been wanting to try and it is from rare beauty or it is from selena gomez cosmetics line this is a brow powder called the brow harmony shape fill duo it does retail for 24 dollar usd and it comes in six different shades of course going back to the packaging i think this is so freaking adorable and very very cute it's really just travel friendly you can definitely pop this in your bag your makeup bag it doesn't take up a lot of space i like how sleek it is you know it fits in the palm of your hand so that's nice the packaging is very sturdy can you hear it now another hidden gem about this packaging is that when you flip it to the back it does review this hidden compartment where it holds the brow brush tip and a nice little spoolie again easy to travel with i mean you don't have to carry an extra brush get it messy in your bag the concept is amazing like how come no one has ever thought about this i do think this is going to be my new companionship when i do go traveling or whatnot it's just all in one so i love that now in terms of the powder i am 
am using it right now. I will say first impression, I mean, it looks very like more natural than I'm used to. I'm still gonna continue wearing it and seeing if I do like this so far. A plus. All right, next on the list, we have the last Glow Recipe product. Can you tell I love Glow Recipe that much? This here is called the Glow Recipe Gava Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum, and it does retail for $45 USD, and it only comes with one fluid ounce. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. This is pretty pricey. $45 for a one fluid ounce, very expensive. But I do understand that vitamin C can get pretty pricey. I guess there's like different components and stabilization that goes into it. Now this vitamin C serum does claim to help brighten the skin while reducing appearance of dark spots and even the skin tone out. But what really sold me on this is the formulation. Apparently they do claim that this is not sticky at all. And if you know anything about vitamin C serums, they can be sticky, okay? And you know me, I don't like anything sticky, tacky, or greasy. I did give a first impression swatch on the back of my hands, and I'm here to say it feels like nothing. It sinks in, so I think I'm gonna love this for sure. In terms of is it going to help brighten my face or even fade my dark spot, we should definitely see within three months or so. I will probably give an update of this product in the near future. Next up we have is a setting spray from Benefit Cosmetics and I have been wanting to try this for a long time. This here is called the Professional Super Setter and it is a long lasting makeup setting spray. This does retail for $32 USD and you are getting four fluid ounce, which is very standard. The reason why I wanted to pick this up is because Tati, yes, Miss Tati, she made a comeback and and she was raving about this so of course I had to try it out. I really do think this is kind of like the Urban Decay long lasting spray. I mean it seems like it's right about that level. I am wearing this today and I do love how fine the mist is. I don't know. Can you see that? Ooh! <laughs> Too much okay anyways as you saw the mist is so fine it will definitely cover your entire face i really like that i love me a good fine mist it does have like this like little scent to it nothing too wholesome but it does smell pretty good i will let you guys know how i would like this when i finish this product in the near future Woo, you guys it is so hot stick with me i'm almost done three more products left all right let's go the next item i'm about to show you guys i have bought in the past and this is definitely a repurchase i love it so much that one time it got discontinued like they didn't have a restock for a year and a half and i almost I almost died like it made me sad luckily they came back i had to buy it and anyways this here is from the ordinary you guys know i love the ordinary i love it so much i bought three this here is called the grand active retinoid two percent emulsion it does retail for nine dollar eighty cent usd and it comes with one fluid ounce for nine dollar okay close to ten dollars i mean come on come on for how much you're getting and for the price point i freaking love i don't think i've ever mentioned this product in my video i have really been using this to target like my crow's feet my laugh line just anywhere i feel like you know i'm getting wrinkles because we don't like that right the texture is like a kind of like a lotion <laughs> so it's very interesting because it's not really a serum and it's not really like a cream it doesn't leave your face feeling sticky or tacky or anything but yeah if you're looking for like an anti-aging or even a retinoid i highly recommend trying this out because again for the price you just cannot beat it now around the holiday season sephora does come out with a ton of holiday gift sets and i do think it is a great way to try different brands out without really paying the full price so that is nice um, but for this year i decided to pick up some cleansing balms the brand i have here is from pharmacy this is called the garden party green clean trio and you are getting three different flavor of cleansing balms this does retail for 42 dollars usd and each cleansing balm comes with 1.7 fluid ounce i do think that is pretty good for the price you're paying so this is what it looks like good size really good size i don't know about you but when it comes to cleansing balms it takes forever for me to get through them. I don't even know if I'm going to get through these within the next year. <laughs> going back to the sizing, I do think this would be great if you just want to buy for the one-time purchase and give it away to friends or family, like a stocking stuffer. I am excited to try each one of them out because it is in different scents and I've heard a lot of good reviews from this brand when it comes to the cleansing balm. 
The last item I got from the Sephora sale is from Jo Malone. Yes, Jo Malone. If you guys don't know about this brand, you are definitely missing out. The reason why I bought this is because it is a limited edition item and the bottle just screams, you need this. So I got the scent in the English Pear and Fisia. I, I love this scent. This is definitely one of my favorite scents from Jo Malone. Highly recommend. If you like something that's like fruity and floral, you will definitely love this. They came out with like a limited edition bottle and if you know Jo Malone, they do have like the standard bigger size. It is like 100 ml. This here is the 50 ml. I will say you're definitely not getting the best price, but I've never seen this size bottle and I do think the design is very cute. Um, I think they call this the fluke glass bottle. It definitely does look very vintage and I just had to buy it. But yeah, with that being said, I am. this is a little teaser because in the upcoming videos, maybe in, in the near future, I'm gonna show you guys my favorite scents that I love to wear and this is definitely one of them so a little sneak peek <laughs> oh boy we did it you guys we did it I don't know how people can do this showing like their haul I I'm out of breath <laughs> so there you have you guys that is my entire haul for the friends and family sale of 2021 I know it seems like a lot of products but keep in mind I don't buy Sephora throughout the year I mostly wait towards the end just so I can use that promo code and save a little money because you guys know I like to save some money. Let me know in the comments down below if you have tried any of these products out or if you want any updates of these products in the upcoming future, let me know. Or if you bought anything from the Sephora sale, let me know. I wanna be nosy and see what you got. With that being said, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up because it will help me in the long run. And of course, I will talk to you guys soon in the next. Have a great one, bye.